YouTubers. So, River and counties. Uh, I'm here to bring some stuff in for mailbag. We're just going to do it right in here uh, with the doors closed today, uh, just because I don't want to have to manage um, a whole bunch of things at once for them. Plus, it's going to be kind of a short one. There's not a whole ton of stuff to go through. Well, in a way there is, but we'll get to that. Uh, so I'm going to break stuff in. Um, it is 9.47 according to my watch, 9.48 now. So uh, mailbag starts at 10 and 12 minutes. Until then, uh, you can keep an eye on the kittens. I'll bring the mail in. Hi, everybody. Got a great view of me there. All right. Yeah, I was checking the cameras.
Please, please don't adjust that camera. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, Shelly. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Come here, come here. Aw, I'm sorry, I meant to block you, but I didn't mean to block you that effectively. Come here, I'm so sorry. Mm, I got you, sweetheart. Aw. You okay? Yeah, oh yeah, the only thing you lost there was some dignity, huh? Me too. Hey, here's the good toy. Grab it while you got the chance. What did you guys do with that bit of mink? I know you eviscerated it. Where's the, uh, where's the shell? It's right here. Let's see. We put it by the food dish because it's too yummy, huh? Well, you didn't even get all the fiber out of here. All right, I'm going to take this back for a pair. Oh, it's got food on it. All right. Well, then you can eat it again. You've got to fix it before we bring it back. Nice, pretty good.
still smells good in here. I don't think we can keep that up, huh? Mm, yeah, I don't think very long either. Yeah, I just came for this pillow. Actually, I already think things might be starting to take a turn. Yeah, alright, well, let me see what you can do about that, Scoots. You're in charge while I'm gone. YouTubers, I should probably have my shoes off for mailbag. Just sat back here in case we play with them. Right. I'm gonna try to sit right up front with everybody and see if we can get a good focus uh, on stuff close to the bottom camera. Easy on me. You are not me, pal. Do you want to do mailbag? Are you shooting Philip? Philip, do you want to do mailbag, Philip? You're going to sell this pillow. Maybe you should be the one doing mail, baby. What do you think? <sighs> Alright, hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to sit a little bit to the side, maybe. This thing puts me at an angle. Let's just see what we got here. It is 10 o'clock, so hello. Welcome to Mailbag. Uh, let's see how this goes. Probably, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I think we've got a pretty good uh, view. I think we've got some uh, pretty pretty decent enough focus for right now. We'll work it out as we go. I don't think it's going to be a very long mailbag. As you can see there's not a whole ton of stuff for us to get through here. Um, let me start with sort of the news like we usually do. Um, there's not a whole lot to go over, uh, but um, I think that the, there's a couple important things to hit. So first off, uh, most important is we've gotten all kinds of emails and comments, uh, people noticing uh, that some of the kittens upstairs, Rivers, uh, not Rivers, Scotty's kittens upstairs, the puppies, um, people have noticed a little bit of limping, especially from Jack, uh, possibly from B. Uh, we've heard reports. I haven't seen that one myself. Uh, and uh, I've checked things out pretty extensively. So there's also been a little bit of uh, some eye goobers here and there, not big ones, just a little bit of crustiness. And uh, there's also been, I, I discovered this morning because I was looking for it specifically, a couple of the kittens up there have little ulcerations on their tongue. And I do think that Jack has spent a couple days being a little more sleepy. Uh, this morning he jumped up and came running at me. So I feel like that was a real good sign of his improvement. Uh, there was a little bit of weight loss, which I also think is on the mend, especially because that we're keeping an eye on that. That's like the number one thing that we can do about it. So the practical upshot of all that is uh, it, it it's points very clearly to those kittens having Khaleesi virus. Um, and Khaleesi virus is something that you probably shouldn't Google because if you do, you're going to find like all the most serious cases of it. But it's very common. We've had it here at the Academy a few times. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, in general, and we're going to keep an eye on those kittens and make sure it's not. So far, it seems like they have an extremely mild case, uh, even compared to cases that we've seen. So uh, fingers crossed it stays that way. And in the meantime, the, like I said, the number one thing that we can do for them is make sure they get enough calories, which is what we're focused on. Uh, there's really not anything else we can do for it, being it's a virus, there's no real treatment. Oh, uh, but it is worth pointing out that all of the older kittens at the Academy are already vaccinated against it. Uh, these guys have had I think two vaccines against it now out of what uh, turn out to be three typically for kittens, but they should still have pretty good coverage at this point. And then uh, all the older cats, of course, the faculty have been vaccinated against it forever. So, uh, so not a big concern on, on any level. Also for adult cats, it's usually completely asymptomatic if they get it at all. So, uh, you know, again, um, uh, yeah, not, not, not anything that just too concerned about, but I want everybody just to know that, that yeah, we know and, and we're, we're keeping an eye on it and doing the 
uh, whatever can be done. Um, then uh, I wanted to mention something else, uh, but now I think it's already slipped my mind what it might have been, which is okay. All right. So uh, it'll come back to me, and then we'll talk about it uh, news-wise. But I did want to say I didn't actually bring in all of the mail this time because uh, we did have – oh, that – see? Okay, now I remember what the other thing was I wanted to mention. So we'll just weave it all together. Uh, what I was saying is I didn't bring in all the mail because um, we did have a lot of packages that were very heavy, and I just suspected they might be kitty litter. So for most of those, I opened them up uh, where they were, verified that they were kitty litter, and then uh, I have they're in the car still in the garage, most of them. Uh, so uh, that way I can just distribute it directly to where it needs to go, and I don't need to bring it in here first. I'm sorry for taking that shortcut, uh, but I hope you can excuse it. And so I owe thanks, um, and I'm going to see if I can remember. There were three people that sent kitty litter. It was a Dragon Lady. It was G.A. Girl. Uh, Georgia girl, and it was Frozen Tundra Crew. And I want to say thank you very much to all three of you for sending uh, kitty litter this week. And they had done that because we had yet another oil leak in the basement. I cannot believe, like, every single thing that can fail. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's really, it's, it's just ridiculous because uh, if you look at what we've replaced so far downstairs, you would think that we've replaced everything that could possibly leak. We just put a new oil tank in. Uh, and it turns out that like, well, we didn't replace every little oil filter that are, you know, attached to the HVAC units. Um, and one of those really, so, and not that we would, I mean, nobody would replace, it's just a metal can. Like how did it even, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, I went through a little bit of extra kitty litter though, uh, trying to clean that up. I put kitty litter, you this one way to soak it up. And so everybody knew I went through a little extra and then everybody, uh, or, you know, at least those uh, three fine people sent a little bit of replacement kitty litter, which I do, I greatly appreciate. I don't think the people at the post office felt so appreciative, but uh, <laughs> what can you do? That's uh, a lot of heavy stuff. Uh, I also did, just for the record, I did reorder. Uh, I, I re-upped our own order of kitty litter. So now we're a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, we came out, you know, ahead, which is, uh, which is good for everybody. So thank you for that. Uh, very much. Probably, uh, I'm also going to put it down in the basement again because there's still a little bit like a residual smell that at least will be covered up until we decide what to do. That's neither here nor there. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to say that was kind of news, though, is I've really decided to take a new approach to the fact that, that we're so far behind on everything. And that's basically uh, what I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to try to make this the way I deal with it, which is basically to say to myself, all right, as long as you're getting done, the necessaries, you know, the, the everyday taking care of the cat stuff, like making sure that the kids upstairs are well treated uh, for the Khaleesi virus outbreak and that these guys are, you know, fed and socialized and all that kind of usual kitten care stuff. As long as I'm getting that done. And, you know, I do a thing uh, pretty much, you know, every day that, that I can feel good about on top of that. I'm not going to worry about how long my to-do list is. And I'm going to try to stop apologizing for it. And uh, we're just going to say, you know, hey, it is what it is. We do uh, what, what we can do. And, uh, um, yeah, so that's my plan for now. We're going to see how it works or if I can manage to stick to it. Um, all right. Yeah, so that's it for news. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got all kinds of things I want to tell you guys about River and her kittens and how they're doing and the fact that they've had spa nights and uh, they've been fantastic about it. You can see River's really coming out of her shell. Oh, by the way, we've been – you might have – you've been watching carefully – uh, you've seen that, that we socialized her. We, we, I've been trying to introduce River to the faculty because it seems like she's got a lot of potential to get along with the faculty. Um, but we have to be careful about it because she's also got a lot of potential to not get along with them. So we've been uh, putting her in a harness and giving her treats with them and feeding the treats through the fence. I feel really good about it. There hasn't been a single negative incident. Um, so I just don't want to push my luck and, and have one. I think uh, Maggie especially is fraught, so uh, we probably won't even do introductions or let her out when Maggie's around because I just don't want to risk it. Um, but everybody else is just doing great. Plus, River is really coming out of her shell, especially when she wants food. But all the time, she, she comes and she snuggles and she rubs up around my ankles and stuff. Um, she's not exactly a lap cat and I, I don't know if she would ever be a lap cat but she'll tolerate anything that you want to do you know if you want to pick her up and snuggle her and pet her she'll put up with it but i, I think if she's got her uh <clears throat> druthers <laughs> if she's got her druthers 
she probably would just be sitting next to you, like on the floor or on the sofa or when she loves to go in my office and just hang out with me all day long in my office. And she usually picks one of the cat beds or just sits on the sofa. Or lately she's been uh, going under the blanket on the sofa. And uh, it's not like she's scared, I think. She just feels safe and warm and it's nice. So she's been a sweetheart. Okay, let's open some stuff. There's no letters this week, not a single one. So I think I made up with it for uh, some rambles there. Uh, so let's dig in. Um, we're just going to go right through the pile. Uh, this is, I don't know if there's going to be a note. We'll find out. It's Amazon, but it does. Well, let's check for the note first because there's a name on it. But, oh, no, it's the same name here. Okay, good, perfect. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, quiet cleaning for kitten room. Wanted to see you off your hands and knees with dustpan and brush. Enjoy your gift from Carol D. Well, uh, Carol D. Oh, thank you very much. I'd say it's one of these uh, those push brooms, like the kind that, um, uh, I don't even know what to compare it to. Actually, the last time that I saw a push broom like this in actual use, um, this is the this is the kind that here I'll I'll show you. It's the kind that's got like the little rollers in it. You push it, it the rollers go. They're geared. They go faster, and they sweep up all the dust into a little consent canister. Uh, it's really nice. Um, it's sort of like a manually operated uh, vacuum brush, uh, except there's no vacuum part, so I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, we tried one of these for a little while at the Academy, but I don't think we gave it a fair shake. So it's probably a good idea for us to try it again. And I'm not going to put it together right now, but it's such a good idea. And I bet if, uh, if well, yeah, I, I'm excited to try it. I think it's going to be a real hit here. I think that's going to turn out to be a very smart thing for us to give a shot to. Uh, and I'm always having the problem of, you know, not wanting to get down on my hands and knees so much, especially lately. By the way, um, I've been going to physical therapy twice a week. I missed one of them this week because of the oil spill, but uh, I've been going twice a week and my, and it's great. The physical therapy, like when I'm done there, I feel great. I'm clearly not a hundred percent. I don't know if I ever will be, but in general, I just feel good. So things, things are not bad. Uh, just so you know. Okay. Uh, Carol D. Thank you very much. And I know I'm going to be thanking you again because as I was uh, looking through these to see what addresses have to be covered up, I know I saw that name a few times, but this one is from Kawhi Lil Panda. Uh, Kawhi Panda, Kawhi Lil Panda. There's gotta be a note. Uh, it's Churu, I can see that. Thank you. Oh, it's Churu Bites. Oh, those are fun. Those are a little bit easier to deal with than Churu because uh, they're like little, they're like combos for cats. You remember combos? I'm sure they still make them. They're little round uh, cylinders that are filled with Churu. These are anyway. And uh, that way they're a little bit cleaner and you can like, you know, handle them by hand, unlike churu, which is, you know, baby food and yogurt for cats. So uh, this is nice. And we're, I'll be excited to see if these guys like it. We've tried it in the past, but it kind of hit or miss. Obviously, never as big a hit as churu, uh, but we'll see. I think it's also fun to have some treats like this that we can give the kittens and not feel too bad about. Because, uh, you know, the temptations they love so much. Um, but uh, if we give too many of them, we get bad poops, and we always kind of feel like, um, well, it is cat junk food, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some junk food once in a while is awesome, and there's no reason your cat shouldn't have some. Anyway, uh, K. Shay, all right, K. Shay. Oh, hey, look, the pear strip worked for me this time. I feel like, well, let's just see here. K. Shay says, Quiet little panda, thank you, by the way, for the true bites. Okay. The fluffy blanket is for River. I think she'll look beautiful in pink. She can start using it now and take it when she goes, or you can save it for her and down with whatever you think is best from Kay Shea. Oh, oh, look at that. So this is a lot like the white blanket that we've seen her sitting on by the uh, by the, the um, uh, window there. It's called a window. Yeah, that's the name for it. And uh, it's pink, though. I do think it will be a perfect color for River, and I do think she'll like it quite a bit. So uh, that's that's super fun. Um, I don't know if we need to put one out right now, but uh, we'll see about it. So for now, I want to write River on this so that I don't lose track of it, just in case. And I'm going to put your note with it too. K Shay, thank you very much. Put your note with it because I think it'll be easy enough to do. There we go. The, uh, the label, I know, looks like this bag probably was exposed to something at some point, but it doesn't look like any of it made it inside the bag. It's just the label. Yeah, something. 
There was something on there. Oh, that's not a garbage container. The rest of it looks clean to me, though. I don't think it was just the label. It had a little stain there. Oh, I was going to write River on that. I should probably still do that. Oof, goodness. Some coffee this morning. I'm going to need this, all right? Don't play with knives, kid. Don't play with knives. What, what do they teach you at this academy? Okay. Uh, oh, Carol D. All right, Carol D. This is uh, slightly heavier. What do we got here? Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, this is good. I don't know. Um, so this is the Bissell Pet Stain and Odor uh, made for upright carpet cleaners. Uh, this is, I believe, the very thing that we tend to use here for the carpet cleaner. Uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this goes with the Hoover. Enjoy your gift from Carol D. Oh my goodness, Carol D. All right. Uh, this We've got the, uh, the, the BG-10. Um, I don't know if you see me pushing that thing around quite a bit, but uh, let's, let's see. Maybe that's the big package. Maybe we should see what we're talking about here. Hang on one second. Because this, uh, this could also turn out to be pretty cool, though. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on one sec. Boy, I'll tell you that, speaking of like Hoovers and rug cleaners, uh, that rug in the annex is was the blue one with the uh, sort of triangle pattern on it. It's not triangles, I don't know what you call it. Uh, they're, they're parallelograms, aren't they? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that uh, that thing was a real mess. I don't ever. I, I don't think any of our rugs at the academy have ever gotten to be such a mess. Um, but uh, the kittens had decided there was one spot on the rug that they thought was the litter box, and I could tell that as long as that rug was still in there, no amount of cleaning was going to get them convinced that that spot was not the litter box. So that's why we changed the rugs upstairs uh, last night, and I took the blue rug and I put it in the other room uh, for cleaning, which I haven't gotten around to yet, but it's on my list. So I'm guessing uh, that this and this are going to be perfect for uh, helping out with that little situation. Wow. It says, uh, it says it is a portable Power Dash Go Pet. Um, which I am unfamiliar with as a product. Hmm. I don't know if we can find something that has a picture, though, because there's no picture on this. This is so, uh, Carol, this is so incredibly generous of you, I'm sure. I just, I can't even. Um, is there anything here that is going to show me? Okay, good. Okay, so this is what I was picturing. I think, and I think it's what I was picturing in my head. Hang on a second here, because I've been I've been eyeballing this kind of thing online for a long time now. Yeah, it's a little tiny handheld carpet cleaner. Oh, 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 look at that! How cute is that? That uh, that you can take around and do little spot cleanings with. That's real fun. I think that uh, that. Both DJ and I will get a kick out of trying this thing out and seeing how it works for us, uh, especially because um, I think it, I think it makes it a lot more accessible. We have that BG10 uh, that was sent um, years ago by um, um, uh, my coffee's not kicking in now. I should remember um, Leopard Spots. Is that right? Oh man, it's been so long and my brain is not working right now. Um, normally, I, I know. But uh, anyway, the BG-10 is, a, is an amazing thing that is just, I would never have bought one, and uh, it turned out to be life-changing. So uh, this may turn out to be the same kind of deal. Like, it's, you know, uh, I, I've been eyeballing, like I said, this sort of thing for a while, and I don't know if I would ever bought one, but it could turn out to be exactly the kind of thing that's life-changing for us. And I, uh, Carol, I, I really appreciate you thinking of it, uh, of it that way. We'll see. So uh, I'm excited to try it out, too. I always love a new gadget, and these days, like cleaning is 90% of my life. Um, so uh, trying out new cleaning gadgets is, uh, is definitely fun for a guy who likes gadgets in general. I, I feel like there was another piece here that I took out and now all I said all the way over there. Okay, I'm really good at this. All right, I'm gonna put all this into the big box. Uh, Carol, that is so nice of you. Oh my goodness. It's so nice of you to think of us that way. Uh, 
I just, I don't know how to say uh, enough appreciation for that. Thank you so much for that generosity. And uh, we will put it to good use. Uh, try, try it out here at the Academy. And then, uh, awesome. Okay. And we've got an awful lot of places that we can try it out, let me tell you. All right. This says LFS, uh, it says, please deploy, but see, I think, direct messages on the uh, chat. So I will have to check. I like that. It says LFS, though, also, so that I know uh, which to see. Wow, this is a bunch of stuff, though. I'm just going to pull it all out, and then I'm going to get my phone, and we're going to take a look there. Because I don't think there's going to be a note in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this stuff is extremely cute. Oh, wow. Okay. What is all this? There's one piece of paper on the end that says, oh, the return process. Okay, scratch the return process. That's cute. Uh, so, I think, um, wow, a whole bunch of interesting things here. Let's see if I have a note that, like I believe I may. I see. You said actually. I, oh, here we go. What is is this the stuff that you sent me the message about? Let me just see if this is. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, here we go. Yes, so we have mini micro dusters for the puppies. I see that this. You're calling these micro dusters, and I bet that's probably how they sell them. Uh, let's see if that's what it says on it. Does it say micro duster? Or anything like that it says toys for pets only keep away from children well all right maybe it doesn't uh, but it's just a little tiny piece of real fur on the end of a stick and you can see how that is going to be an incredible toy i mean that's just a that's a huge instant winner and it looks like you sent a whole bunch of those a lot of noise back there do you oh it's just a tunnel okay um so uh, yeah so we have these uh little uh pieces of real Sticks, it's just how could we possibly lose with that? Micro dusters, so that's uh, mini dusters deployed to the puppies now. The rest, as you see fit to future classes, well, they are still little. That's a good point, yes, because th that's not the kind of toy I don't, I don't know that it's going to be. I mean, I'm imagine any cat would still want to play with it, but it probably wouldn't last very long with a cat. <laughs> so we'll see. I like it. Uh, okay, everything else then in your note must be relevant because here we have a pineapple hat for a cat. Uh, that's definitely going in my photography costume bag. <laughs> Pineapple hat for every pregnant mom cat in perpetuity, or maybe just the ones who are taking their time. You say that's really cute. You also say other costumes as you see fit, but maybe sometimes just on stream, not for photos, maybe. Well, uh, in a way, uh, I think that's a big, tall order, but in another way, I do think that some of the cats and kittens, we can start teaching them to, uh, to, to appreciate wearing clothes and harnesses a little more often, I think, uh, that could definitely benefit some of them. So uh, that, that, that might be something else that, that that teaching would provide. Anyway, this is really cute. It's like a little caterpillar uh, fuzzy thing. Uh, it's adorable. We have this cute little, it looks like a princess dress or skirt to me. It's very frilly, uh, like a tutu. And then uh, this is also a piece of clothing that says, I'm hope I'm, hope I'm like a star makes small but daily progress interesting uh, and then it's got astronauts on it and it's a it's also a little bit of a cat uh clothing i guess yeah um very cool uh i think that might be all the costumes but i can't tell what this is so let's take a look real quick i don't know if this one oh this is a big one though i don't know if we've got anybody this will fit oh maybe maggie oh it's a hoodie <gasps> so cool and it says find the universe and it's got a robot looking at planets how cool is that uh that's a real cool little hoodie and it, i think as a hoodie actually it'll probably fit better than i thought i think that would fit any of these kids especially the mom cats so that's fun okay i'm just gonna leave that out of the bag for now so fun all right um now let's see you did send some other things that aren't costumes so let's just see what that says 
Uh, I saw something about window film, but I don't know if that was in the, oh, that must be this, window film, electrostatic glass film, I see, and it is film. Uh, oh, it's got little reflective squares in it. I love, I think, actually, it looks like planets, though. Oh, gosh, I don't want to, it does, it must have planets on it. Okay, good. We will, we'll check that out. I think that could be fun. That could be a real fun way to do the windows, obviously, upstairs or down here when we move it down here or wherever we do when we to. We can always use other window cling film. I love it. Uh, ever since we put the the paper on the windows down here in the rainbow pattern, I think that was for, is that for port? Oh, my God, it seems like so long ago. Um, anyway, ever since we did the rainbow uh, tissue paper on the doors here, I've really liked the whole idea of, uh, we've done the pictures upstairs, we've done, I've done the cling film before, I've used the, the just the cling film that sort of does patterns or obscures things a little bit, Translu translucence is what I'm looking for, so uh, that's all super fun. Uh, oh, you said lace collar, is that a collar then? Oh man, that looks a little bit, uh, that can't be a collar, no, that, that can't. This can't be a thumb drive. Uh, this is a thumb drive that is a cat paw. It says 32 gigabytes on it. Look at that. That's so cool. It's all rubbery uh, and a cat. Um, but, okay, I don't know about a lace collar because this can't possibly. It doesn't have the right kind of clasp either, does it? These bags are so weird. Why is everything in a Ziploc bag now that you have to tear open and then, like, I don't know why that's the packaging thing. I don't understand the purpose. It's almost never something that you'd, that you'd like want to have a bag to put it in all the time. A bag, a weird bag. Uh, nope, definitely not a collar. Or at least not, you know. But it's cute, isn't it? It's not it's adorable. Wow, it's very lacy, too. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to put it back in the bag. Look what I just did. Uh, so that they don't grab it or anything. So, for now. Oh, okay. All right. Um, window film. Okay, good. Well, there we go. Uh, I don't think I see notes about the other stuff, though. Or at least not that I'm going to find right at the moment. So we also have this weird little ball toy that's got some kind of a... Uh, it rolls around... Also in a plastic bag. There you go. No raisin. It's got a little hole on the end, uh, maybe for like catnip or something. Hard to tell. Wow, that the thing in it spins around too. Okay, that's very distracting. That's not bad. Uh, you've also have sent socks, of course. We've got these socks here that have a little alien giving the peace sign on it. That's cute. It says uh, terrestrial extra, which uh, I think that makes some sense. Then uh, here we have a, a starry night scene I like, and uh, we've got some planets here with little rings. Awesome. And then here we have, um, uh, I don't know, sort of a Monsters Inc. wannabe toy that says four pets only, so it must be sort of a cat toy thing. That's awesome. Oh, and then we also have this uh, food place map that is just a planet, which is cool. We've been using the one, uh, I think, upstairs a lot with the astronaut and uh, all around the astronaut cat, which is on theme, but uh, a little distracting. This one's a little bit plainer, and I like that, too. Okay, so I don't know where to put all that right now. It's off to the side, and we will organize it as we uh, go through. All right. Thank you so much, LFS. Very awesome stuff. Hi, buddy. What are you doing back here, bungalow? What are you doing back there? Here, this box from Walmart. Let's check. What are you doing with that, huh? Boy, these kids are just having a blast right now. We like that. Oh, this is from Dragon Lady. And it is, oh, more baby food. Wow, okay, good. Well, I guess we're not going through enough of this. <laughs> uh, this is good. So we do use a fair amount, especially lately with these kids. I've been using a ton of it, uh, trying to socialize them. And it's also uh, a lot of times when I have to do syringe feedings for the kittens, like we're probably going to have to do a lot of for the kittens upstairs. Uh, I'll either use it directly or mix it up with something because it, it goes through a syringe pretty well, which is nice. Um, so this, this is great. Thank you so much. Wow, this stuff is, uh, is so awesome for the cats. They are crazy about it. It's one of my favorite treats to give. It's good for training and uh, it's good for everything. 
Uh, Dragon Lady, thank you so much for keeping us in the stock of the uh, the, the kitten food. That's perfect. These, by the way, I'm going to pile in here as stuff that's going to head downstairs. Uh, these all have to go downstairs too, but I'm going to keep one aside, like you said, to use now. Uh, am I picking one or am I just picking one at random? We'll just take one at random. Perfect. That's going to go downstairs. The rest of this is going to go upstairs. Probably. What? A river? Is that necessary? Hmm. She was just making that meow at uh, Ari. I think he was just trying to play under the door, but she didn't appreciate it, which is exactly what I mean. Because, you know, she was eating treats with Ari the other day right in his face and fine with it. So it's a little hard to predict when she's going to decide she's not fine with something. Which is why we have to be so cautious until, until we've really, really got a handle on her. Um, I think fundamentally, like I said, she can be friends with anybody. Uh, I just don't know what her rules are yet. So i to figure all that out. Okay, uh, Dragon Lady, something else. All right, there's more. But wait, there's more. Now, oh, Silvervine. All right, cool. So these are packets of Silvervine sticks, which are always a big hit as well. These can be great in endowments. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, Silvervine, uh, kind of like catnip, it's one of those plants that, that cats have a strong reaction to. And the sticks are fun because they get to pick them up and carry them around and chew on them. Some cats like to really chew on them. Uh, or you can just throw them around. Uh, they can be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you for those. Those will be perfect for endowments. So I'm going to put those over here in the downstairs uh, box. That's not this card this is. Oh, and this is stuff for me to go through. But of course, right now it's all cleaning stuff. So we'll just keep that. That's what we're going to do. Perfect. Okay, next up. Uh, very nice handwriting in this, but let's see if there's a note on the inside. Oh, interesting. I see a charger of some kind in there right away. Let's see uh, what we've got here. Oh, hang on. Note. And the note says... Hey, come on, buddy. Don't sit right in front of the camera. Come over here. Dear Mr. A and DJ, enclosed you will find a little gadget that might help those poor little newborns that barely have any fur on their bellies. The woes when you pick them up for weigh-ins with your cold hands are too much to bear, so I thought this reusable hand warmer might come in handy. I've also included some wall plugs so you don't have to take it out of the room to charge. I know it's too late for the puppies, but there will be many, many more who can benefit from it. Uh, keep doing great work and know that I'm in awe of your commitment and generosity. Many thanks from Angela, a.k.a. Kanga and Ru2, Kanga and Ru2 uh, on Discord. That's K A N G A N R O O 2 T O O. <laughs> Easy for me. I can't even spell it. Uh, Kanga and Ru2 on Discord. I'm glad you uh, spelled it out with spaces. Otherwise, I, I probably would have. I would have gone with Kanga and Ru2. Kanga and Ru2. Yeah, Kanga and Ru2. That sounds like a Star Wars character. Um, perfect. Okay, so. Uh, uh, Angela, a.k.a. Kanga and Rue, too. Thank you so much for the hand warmer and so, so thoughtfully including a little tiny... Uh, wow, this is a very good charger, actually. It's two. It's over two amps in this little unit with two things. Uh, that's perfect for kitten rooms. And the hand warmer is also perfect. I know you probably have heard me apologize to the kittens so many times. A lot of times I go in there first thing in the morning and my hands are freezing. Uh, I think the cold snap's kind of over here, so maybe it won't be an issue uh, until uh, fall, or maybe it will be. You know, sometimes I just end up with cold hands anyway, so we'll, we'll definitely thank you so much. That's very thoughtful. I really appreciate it. I'm excited about it. Uh, rechargeable instant heat. Wow. Okay, perfect. Oh, and it doesn't have to be plugged in, so it's got its own, uh, and it works as a power bank also. Huh. That's cool, actually. That's smart that a hand warmer would work as a power bank. Makes a little too much sense. That's an awesome product. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Dragon Lady. Uh, again, we have a Dragon Lady. This time we have... Oh, a little pop-up pod with a couple of uh, toys. It's brown. It's green. It's a pop-up pod, I can tell. And uh, these things are just... They're great all the time. Um... Pods are just, the cats love them so much. I know you sent you sent a few of those before. I don't know if we've got enough to do a full range 
of endowments with them, but uh, definitely sending it downstairs to get sorted anyway, one way or the other. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh-oh. Uh, we, we have a package from J. Lou. Wow. I say, uh-oh. We haven't, uh, I don't think we've heard from J. Lou in a little bit. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, cool. That's, uh, that looks like some fun stuff. Let's see what we got here. What are you guys doing fighting all that packing material? There's a note here from J. Lou. Oh, if I can get it open. And the note says, hang on. Uh, I can't, I can't get it open. Wow, it's uh, stuck right there in the corner. Aw, it is a cute little cat, a uh, very happy little cat with yarn and a mouse running away. Um, but he's just sitting there looking serene and happy. If I can, there we go, there we go, just like that. And the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I hope you are well. I haven't been on Discord much lately, but I pop in when I can, and it's great to see all the great things you continue to do for mom, cats, and kittens. These are just a few things I meant to send a while ago. It's never a bad time for Christmas, right? I think you'll figure out whose bug is whose and everything else is to use how you see fit. There's also probably some cat hair from Song and Fiddle. They didn't want to be left out. Google saw all the cats and kittens from J. Lou. Ah, J. Lou, it's good to hear from you. And from Song and Fiddle, of course. Uh, I think this is an envelope with something in it. Uh, let's take a look here and see. There is something in it. It is. Aw. <laughs> That's a cute idea. It's a little sticker, but it's a sticker that you put on, I assume, like your floorboard, uh, baseboard, uh, that is a picture looking into a mouse's house who's got his own Christmas set up. That is definitely going to make an appearance next Christmas. Uh, that is adorable. Wow. Super adorable. Then we have uh, some awesome cat toys from Big Sky Cats that appear to be the sort of, um, oh, all kinds of things, actually. Here we have some weird little yak fur. I'm going to call it yak fur. I doubt it's actually yak fur, but it looks very yakky. Uh, <laughs> uh, those are little toys with loops to go on the ends of wands that I'm sure Maggie's going to just think are incredible. Here is one of uh, the sort of Maggie Mouse-style toys, but much bigger than usual. It's a giant one, plus it's got some wings. And then here's a weird long one that's got like a forked tongue on the front. So I guess it's sort of a, a snaky, wormy thing. Oh, and see, we got eyes. Yes, so that must be a snake. We have oh, a tiny, a flat mouse, except it's a skunk. That's super cute. And oh, another one of those really cool Maggie mice that's giant. Thank you so much for those. Maggie goes crazy for those things. Uh, so does everybody. They're a big hit, but Maggie especially, that's just a jam. This says, I am a cat person uh, with an illustration of a, a kind of creepy looking cat person. Uh, I love it. <laughs> He's completely awesome. That's exactly what people should picture when they hear cat person. Uh, <laughs> He's wearing like skinny jeans and a stripy shirt. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so I am a cat person. Uh, let's see, that goes well. It's going to go over here for now. We have a Christmas runner, I think. Oh, no, it's a, it's a kitchen towel. Let's just see what it says, because why not? It says, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your ornaments are history. That's cute, and it's embroidered. It's got little tassels and everything, so it's extra fancy. Very cute. There's another one, too, that I think is a bag. It is a bag. Oh, this would be a good place for me to put this stuff and take it downstairs. It says... I was good at being naughty. Does that count? I see. I was good at being naughty. Does that count? I say it does. Then, uh, as promised, two coffee mugs. This one says, all my cat buns are on purpose. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And I know who that one is for. And this one has a, a, a cat doctor on it that says, dogs can't operate an MRI machine, but cats can. Uh, and it is a, a picture of a doctor cat playing with a ball of yarn, which is adorable. It's so cute. Oh, thank you so much. Jayla, great to hear from you and song and film. And uh, thank you for the late Christmas. It's never, it's never late for Christmas. It's always early for Christmas, isn't it? 
no matter when it comes. Um, so I am going to put the Christmas things in the Christmas bag because that's too appropriate. Actually, was that that? Okay. Oh, and the, the mouse. Yes, there it is. Right in there. I think that mouse is a hamster, but we're not going to tell anybody. Okay. Uh, the rest of that's got to go over there, and these can go over here, and this is going to stay out, and these are going to go, oh man, I don't even know. I'm going to put them in here for now. Okay. These go downstairs, too, in the long run. Good. Okay. Uh, Jaylu, thank you so much. Oh, I think we're down to one box, the big Target box. Look at that. Wow. That was kind of a short mailbag, despite the fact that I kept rambling and uh, getting lost along the way. Um, speaking of lost along the way, who took the knife, kids? When you have the knife, did you steal it because it's got that little piece of uh, string? No, oh, I'm sitting on it. Wow. Doesn't say a lot for me. Uh, also doesn't say a lot for this uh, knife of uh, uh, binder. Yeah. Anyway. Oh! Hey, this looks oddly familiar. Oh, but not. Okay, no, that's not all what I thought it was. What is this, and who is it from? All right, let's find out. So it's Target. I don't know if Target lets you move a note. It does say, oh, Great Lakes. Okay, this is from uh, Great Lakes on the Discord. It's uh, it's Great Lakes. Um, it's Great Lakes. Uh, oh, no, why can't I remember the... Um, Great Lakes third third name, the third portion of the Great Lakes name. Uh, brain, activate. I just I can't think of it, folks. Uh, great, Great Lakes Marie. Ah, Marie, that was it. That was the important part. The part I couldn't remember turns out to be the important part. Okay, awesome. Uh, so um, Great Lakes Marie, you will have to send me a note with instructions uh, unless I happen. I know the bottom here, which I don't think I will. I kind of get the idea, though. I'm guessing. I'm guessing these are for endowments. I may even get lucky enough to guess which is for whom in some cases. This one it says Cardboard Scratcher Cottage. Uh, and it does look like a little uh, like a little cottage that you would see on the beach. In fact, there's a beach scene on part of the cottage. Uh, but it is round like a yurt. So I don't know if it is like a beach bungalow or if it is the round yurt or if we have a kitten I'm not aware of named Cottage. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, the second one, this is so cute by the way, the second one is it says Holiday Ski Shack Cat Scratcher. Uh, and it is exactly what it says. It's a holiday ski lodge uh, house. So that could be for lodge, although I think lodge, somebody sent a house for lodge already. So maybe this is a ski chalet, or um, uh, I think any of them could go, actually. Uh, and then next we have another house. This one says Modern Hotel, and it's got that, um, uh, the same as our rug, uh, Mon Mondrian uh, kind of style colors, blocky square colors as a modern art hotel. Uh, and it's also got, like, there's a cat having a rave up here, you can see. He's wearing headphones, and there's all these guys dancing with lights. And there's other ones that are sleeping, or, uh, what's he doing? Is he pouring food into his mouth? I can't tell. But there's all sorts of scenes of what's happening in the in the hotel, then in each different room with little cats. That's very cute. Uh, and then finally, we have this one that says it is a villa. So I guess that's the one that's most obvious, uh, and it is a, a large villa with another really cute scene on the outside. It's like a, it's like a cute house with, with plants, but I especially like uh, these two little affectionate cats here that are snuggling on each other on the outside. How cute. So you sent a, uh, a villa, a hotel, a ski shack, and a cottage, technically. Uh, but I think I get the idea, right? And since there are five of these kittens and four of these homes, and one we know came in a previous mailbag for Lodge, maybe from you, uh, I think that we can add that all together to this being the endowments for the kittens, and probably with a little imagination or a direct message from you, we can figure out which one is for which kitten. Uh, these are all super cute, though, and they are going to love them. These, these little cardboard houses always are such a hit. I don't think we've ever 
put out any sort of cardboard houses the cats didn't just love. So uh, thank you so much, Great Lakes Marine. Yeah, I remembered it that time. I just had it, so. Okay, uh, that's it. Hey, look at that. Wow, everything. That was a very short one. Uh, and then, of course, a second thank you for the replacement kitty litter from, uh, let's see if I can remember, it was GA Girl, it was Dragon Lady, and it was Frozen Tundra Group. Oh, you know what, though? I, I wrote it down just in case, and I want to make sure I got that right. GA Girl, Dragon Lady, Frozen Tundra Group. Perfect. Thank you guys for the kitty litter. Excuse me, and thank you to everybody else for everything else. Now, I am going to consolidate just a little bit. We're going to take this stuff and put it away where it belongs. Um, and then, I think... Uh, I think most of today, I'm going to try to take it easy. I think I'm going to try to just sort of relax a little bit, uh, get a grip, and, and mostly pay attention to the kids upstairs to make sure that they're eating. Um, but if I get a little extra time, I also want to do some further introductions with River and the rest of the faculty, so you can keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, as usual, I'm going to put this stuff away, and then I'm going to come back and I'll say thank you again one more time, and then uh, we'll probably let these kids out to play for a bit, with or without their mom, depending on whether I decide to put the faculty away for a while. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be right back. This has got to go in here, though. This is going to be a lot of fun for these kids. I'm going to just put it at the top of their rocket for now since nobody goes up there. I don't think any of these kids have ever gone in the very top, the very tippy top. Although I have seen a couple of them hanging out in the second section, which has that big round bubble on it. Which is cool. Put in there a few times. Tippy Top uh, is currently occupied by Lost and Found because nobody else goes up there. What is it? Oh, what is it, Bungalow? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. I knew that would be a hit. I mean, it just is, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh it's so funny. Get it, get it. Oh my goodness. Can I get you to turn around? Do that face at the camera. Look at that face. Oh, oh. What? What? I don't know if we're getting the face on the camera or not, but we're very excited. Yeah, that's a winner. I don't think it'll last too long as a whole toy. It's already shedding a lot more than I expect. But boy, what a fun one. Oh, 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 Bungalow, you gotta watch where you're grabbing. I know, there's floop everywhere, so. Seems like a target-rich environment, doesn't it? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, my goodness. That is a grip. Oh, my goodness. Wow, Chalet, you are not messing around. Hey, you took a bunch of the fur with you. This thing's going to be bald before you know it. I see. That's probably all coming off the one end. I bet it'll settle down once they, they get the cut ends bald. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wow, Chalet, you don't fool around. I'm impressed. Wow, the fur is flying, though. Yeah, you get it. Oh, Chalet. Oh, yeah. Get him. here okay okay let's put this up for a minute all right i don't want to leave this unsupervised this is a supervised toy go up okay let's put this stuff away and then we'll play with motion for this for now lost and found you can play with it okay hang on i'll be your toy okay
second. Hey, I know you kids are playing with this, but I'm gonna take it. Oh, you'll find it when you go out. It's gonna be in the hall for a while, okay? I know you can play with all that stuff in the hall. Downstairs. Which with Good, good, good. All sorted correctly the first time. Uh, downstairs too. These kids have, uh, and their mom, have really turned into some, some awesome little kittens. Uh, but at night, if their mom is in the bedroom, they, they really tend to prefer her uh, company to ours, I think, in general. Although, uh, last night, then, it was really nice that uh, Bungalow and uh, Lodge, surprisingly, both came over to sleep up by my head for a while. I didn't expect either of them. Especially those two. I do think Bungalow just needs company all the time, though. Like he's, he's one of those, uh, like he, especially he prefers his mom, but he just wants somebody around, another cat, especially. Oh, thank you. to mention I'm a little bit uh, stiff today because I spent all day yesterday or a big portion of yesterday a shard of glass there um, I spent a big portion of yesterday uh, cleaning out the old master bedroom uh, which once DJ and I moved to the new master bedroom uh, we, didn't, we didn't exactly the old master bedroom was uh, originally I was going to make it my office, and then we decided it was just going to be for photography and stuff. Uh, and now that I've cleaned it, we're going to try it out as a kitten room, probably for the puppies. A very big kitten room. It's, it's almost as big as the living room section there. It's much bigger than this room, much bigger than the annex. Uh, so I think we're going to at least try it out and see what we think. Um, but there's it's empty, but I, there's still plenty of things that I have to do there to clean and get it all set up to put cats into it. But I'm pretty sure we're going to check it out for the, the puppies, at least 
So that's exciting to me, but there's a bit more work to be done before we can get there. Uh, I'm just, I just made such good progress on it yesterday. Uh, it's it really a lot. It was a lot to get through. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited to, to see that as a, as a possibility. New room, big, big new room, and it has an attached uh, bathroom and attached very large closet, which could also be handy for kids. Pretty neat. All right, well, uh, that is just about everything out of here. Um, let me, I guess I'll just make it official, get the last couple things out. Before. shoes or something like the room right now then we do break glass and we try to clean it up as best we can it wouldn't surprise me though some little tiny piece got well on this and then i'm just kicking around here for a while that happens sometimes fortunately it doesn't seem like it was sharp or anything Cables showing all these toys you guys have pushed underneath the bench. So all this needs to go up here. bungalow were two mailbags ago today was the rest and there should have been notes oh well uh the round ones for yurt the ski chalet for chalet you got the villa correct and the hotel i think was called a party house online for river my thought was maybe river will become a party cat once her mom duties are complete it was so fun finding homes for the townies great lakes marine you know what i think you're right though uh last night river was going nuts upstairs playing with with her kittens and just running around the room and her, the toys and just being like a big kitten herself it was so awesome to see. Uh, and then a funny thing happened too, as, as while she was doing all that play and running around, the kittens were chasing her, and she was chasing them, and it was just wild. 
Um, which was we've got that uh, we've got that tall um, what do you call it? wardrobe. Um, you, you probably have seen it. We've got a big tall wardrobe in the master bedroom, and the wardrobe uh, we, we put it in the corner, uh, like like angled into the corner. Um, so there's that. Is that if you imagine there's like a triangular space behind it that isn't really accessible. Uh, because it's right up against the wall, but then it's in the corner, it's angled, so so there's a big, big open space behind it that you can't get to normally. Um, but River found out that she can climb up to the top of the cat tree in the bedroom, jump from there to the top of the, uh, of, <laughs> you're covering those little bits of fur, buddy. Uh, she can jump from the top of the cat tree to the top of the wardrobe, and uh, then she, after hanging out up there for a while, I, I think she almost fell off, although I don't know if she was trying to like climb down and then it was just further down than she thought. All I know is all of a sudden you hear this like bang and then she's meowing for help because she can't figure out how to get out from behind the uh, wardrobe where she now is, uh, which was also pretty funny as she's running around. But then it was cute that she meows for help because she's pretty quiet. Her kids are pretty quiet most of the time. Uh, so it's good to know she can ask for help when she needs it. And of course, I just came over and moved it. She ran out. Uh, that was an adventure, wasn't it? Yeah. So now I think she's learned not to go up there, or maybe just not to go off it that way. All right. Hey, uh, that's it. Uh, this just this stuff all just goes right behind me to the kitchen, so I'll take it out with me. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for mailbag. And uh, thanks so much for everything that everyone said. It was amazingly generous. All of it was uh, the stuff for the kittens, uh, the cleaning supplies uh, from, uh, I think it was Carol D. Thank you so much. Um, and then uh, all, obviously the replacement kitty litter that you guys didn't see, but is very much appreciated. Uh, and, you know, the food and uh, all the cat treats and the toys and the fun stuff that they're just going to have so much fun with. Uh, so uh, thank you so much to everybody for everything. And uh, I'm going to end the mailbag archive in just a half a minute when I step out. And if you are watching live, you can keep watching. And if you're watching on the archive, uh, you know what to do by now. This can't be your first mailbag, can it? Maybe, maybe it is. Somebody's first welcome, by the way, if it is. And if it's not. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Whoa! Hang on, Ruby, you'll get a chance to go run around in a minute. Okay. Well, no, I said, wait.